Hello and welcome. Uh, to Andrew's March. We have three fifths of the people that said they were going to be here tonight so far. And uh, oh no! Oh no! Computer oh, no. failure. Tango. <clears throat> Hopefully it's not a very bad failure. Yeah. I mean, well, he's a Mac user, so. Oh, so. Might be. <laughs> Might be the end of it. Oh, wait. No, he's using Linux, right? Oh, yeah, 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 because he got really upset when I talked about Ubuntu last night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, I, said, I said that Ubuntu... Oh, okay, he said Recoverable will be back in a few. I said that I had Ubuntu, which was kind of like Linux, but not as Linuxy or something. I don't remember what I said, but I, I said something about the fact that I was on Ubuntu and that it was like a lesser form of the Linux that like Linux fanboys would be using. And uh -huh. uh, and he, he, he took that slightly personal. But Oh, <laughs> so I think he might be on Ubuntu. Um, <coughs> uh, it was very slightly though. He he was he was fine. It was just like he was just like, hey, wait a minute. Uh, it's okay because he's a Mac guy. So yeah, well, that's I I was Mac. Like I was a Mac person for, for until until uh... Ubuntu. Well, there was a brief period of time where I had Windows in between, but it uh -huh. it, it really was like two years. <laughs> like that's it. I had Windows for like two years at, between Mac and Ubuntu. Right. Tim told us the Xbox story too last week. Or, yeah. Yeah. The Xbox story. Oh. Yeah. Wait. What? About how it was like cool that you were getting a oh, kid yeah. Yeah, and yeah, an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Carol was like, no, the Xbox is mine. Yep. <laughs> and it still is. That's true. Actually, you own that Xbox. Yeah, I have I have an Xbox now. Oh, I turned it on at some point. I didn't notice. Um, I have uh, an Xbox in my office now, but uh the better Xbox is mine. Is in the living room. It's it's funny because it's totally in my name. Yeah, but it's mine. That was a credit issue. So... <laughs> uh, anyway, so so Tango will be with us shortly. All right, uh, I forgot we were live. <laughs> yeah, Tango will be with us shortly. Jacob said he was going to be here. We'll Who find knows? out what that means. Uh, and. <sighs> Carol was updating her character sheet last I was talking. Sort of. I'm kind of, kind of, sort of thinking about how to update it as yeah. I crochet. I see. <laughs> well, all right then. Um, I'm losing count. Uh... <laughs> Something's loading. Oh. Is it a tango? Either a Tango or a Jacob, or yep. you know, the elusive the, Matthew. For, yeah, the elusive Matthew. Oh, that home sounds like Tango. Be. Hey, it's it a is tango. tango. I don't have a camera. I was oh, like, that. No. That sounds like a Tango hum. <laughs> and and <laughs> show sure enough, it was. <laughs> Let me see if I can't fix something here. <laughs> because you're running Linux, and you have to, you have to load the. I have to load the drivers every time. So what? <laughs> so what? <laughs> what was it? Get APT? Is that right? Maybe. I just I just remember that everything was sudo. It was always sudo this, sudo that. Yeah, well, that's the super user. Is that what that means? Yes. I never learned what it meant. I just learned what to type to make certain things happen. 
You, sir, don't deserve to be a Linux user. I'm... Listen! <laughs> I never said I was good at it. <laughs> but really, does anyone deserve to be a Unix <laughs> user? <laughs> Why? I like Linux. All right, I didn't hear well, like, any of that. Play. Most of what was all good about Linux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It well, was. It was definitely. There was definitely more positive things being said about Linux than about me as a Linux user. Oh, yeah. that's yes, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, my experience was with with Linux was back when Red Hat was first released. Mm. Back when I was living in my parents' house, and they suffered a lot of brownouts. Uh, this was before Linux actually say, did a did a save state. So the only time that your 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 um swap file would be saved was if you did a logout. And because my parents would have frequent brownouts at their house, every time I'd come home, my Lin my Linux server would have to be reinstalled because they had a brownout. So after about two weeks of that, I was like, forget this. I actually <laughs> paid for that copy of, of Red Hat way back in the day. Back before it was open source. Yep. I bought it at Circuit City. You I'm used to buy them in a little, like, uh, what, cardboard boxes? Yes, it was in the little cardboard sleeve. Yep. <laughs> because they were like, it's Linux. We don't We don't think that anybody was going to, in their right mind, will try to steal this. <laughs> Oops, I, I ran that thing. I ran that that red hat system on a p60d ibm p60d 60 megahertz pc we just used to have the uh or you know what that was a that might have been a 386 this i we had like yellow dog and all the flavors when we worked i worked at the newspaper in uh, florida and there was like a cabinet of shelves who just opened up and one big cabinet of all those boxes wow box after box of after box of all those software licenses that people thought needed to have huge space assigned to them <laughs> little did we know and then you have the people that run that, that have linux wars at work between Debian and, and Ubuntu. <laughs> right, right, Chris? I mean, Tango. In a way. I mean, it's more like they're fighting themselves then. It's more like Red Hat versus Debian, but yeah. yeah. Whatever. And now it's Ubuntu versus Debian, you know, because, or Ubuntu versus, uh, was it new one, Rocky Linux? I haven't I heard of that. I, I don't know. I, I've been out of the loop with Linux for a little while. It's a free version of the uh, of, of the what was sent, which was a free version of Red Hat. So Rocky Rocky is free Red Hat, just not supported. Huh. All right, so I went to that uh, link and I just was not able to. Oh crap! It's going to Safari. Did you go to the uh, link that's in the what they call it? In the, the, the Discord from the, the DMs March six. Oh yeah, no. no. Uh, he sent one in the DMs. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just like 20 Oh, just ago. a few minutes ago? Okay. Well, it was like 20 minutes ago, but yeah. Yep. I yeah, they, ha they had an unexpected reboot, so their public IP changed. Which I did not uh, know was going to happen. Yeah, Nobody knew it was going to happen. Like, Well, I didn't, all know, of... I didn't know the thing was going to change. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. I didn't know the power outage was going to happen. But... <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, yesterday morning... I was in the middle of a meeting or it was right before, right before my, my, my daily standup call with my team, the power flashed three times and the, 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 the power went out and my UPS that I have connected to my router just started beeping. Mm. <laughs> I was like, yeah. uh, 
Yeah, I uh, I had my well, I didn't know I, I didn't know anything was happening. I had um, you know, my computer was on. I was doing some work. I got up. I went upstairs. I got a shower. When I came downstairs, the computer was off. I was like, oh, that's weird. Why is the computer off? I tried to turn it on. It didn't turn on. I was like, wait. And then I walked back out, and that's when I noticed that everything else was also off. <laughs> yeah. So. Carol, I was telling Tim that depending on your router, you might be able to um, enable dynamic D a D dynamic DNS service so you can have a domain so whenever your public facing IP changes, you can it will automatically um, update with that service. So I have a DNS service, not through the router, but um, the Foundry isn't an always on server. Yeah, that's... So I don't know why it changed the IP. I mean, well, the thing is, I had Foundry open when the power went out. Oh. Because I had the other yeah. server up. Yeah, but the link that Tim gave, gave us is your public-facing IP. Is it? Mm -hmm. I mean, it is an IP address. I know that. Yeah. So instead of giving the public IP, you get, you you change that to your to your dynamic d DNS domain, and then specify the port, and then that should be. Uh, that's not our public facing IP. Okay. Okay, that's interesting then. Because it's not, we're not hosting that locally. That's being hosted on the Foundry website. Oh, I thought you were running a Foundry instance locally. Nope. I think, what? I'm not? No. I know our public IP. I'm using it for the server. So that we can get to the, um, whatchamacallit? To your NAS? Well, to the cloud server, because I set it up yeah. as a cloud. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I had to put our public IP in there. Yes, so I don't know why your IP changed then. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. That's on Foundry then. Mm hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I had too many. Hmm. All right. So, uh, about that game. What? So I said, so about that game. Yes. So when last we played, you guys had followed Fazij into the warrens that the Kobolds have secretly built under at least this part of Garrett. Yes. Okay. Um, wait, wait. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So, yeah. And you guys uh, got to meet some other cobalts. And I don't think we really did anything with that. Like, I think you guys got into the uh, warrants and then traveled a little bit to get to a room large enough to hold you, and then that was basically it. And then it was to be continued. Dun, and, then, dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. and then it was to be continued, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah. Uh, was no, the, they, they told us that where where they were um 
bringing the prisoners, I thought. Well, so we, we knew when they were. Or was that. No, they had no idea. They said that, that they didn't know what the prisoners were doing. Or oh! Information. Wow, that was weird. Was that loud? My apologies. Well, I don't know if it was Jacob's you, because Jacob's here! here. Uh, Hello! Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm late. That's all right. Just putting Caleb down. Uh, we were, uh, we only just got around to deciding to play games, so. <laughs> we were... <laughs> okay, cool. Now, did, now, yeah, we were talking about, we were talking about Linux. Um, anyway, yeah, so in the process, so we were just catching up on where we were last time, which was that we had entered the Kobold Warrens under Garrett. Um, and, uh, <laughs> Dave was telling us that he believed that they had said something to us, but we were... We we're sorting that out. Um, yeah, we do know. They were where, busy telling me that I was wrong. We know that the <laughs> sounds we, about right. We do know that the prisoners are going to the prison camp, and we know where the prison camp is. Uh, okay. We know that it. We know a. We know a little bit about the prison camp. It is definitely like. It's a mining operation. Uh, what's uh, Davki has told us that much because he was there. As a prisoner, um, we know that it is heavily fortified. Um, we know that there's a magical tattoo involved in getting thrown there, um, and we know where it is. It's it's over there, it, <laughs> on the map, right there. Is it the one that says prison camp? It is the one that says prison camp. Yes. Oh man, who would have thought? <laughs> um, we also know that the road to the prison camp is uh, well is heavily patrolled. Actually, that's a lie. It's labeled sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Can't throw you. No. Um... <laughs> so uh, yeah. The um and we know so we know the road road there is heavily patrolled. We also know that um the mysterious black ooze liquid is coming from is coming from that direction and uh is is being carried by the same people who take people to the prison camp. So the the and same. We also know what the ooze is. Ish. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have some understanding of, of the ooze's nature. Um, you don't know what it belongs to. You know that it is, you know that it is um, organic in nature, that it is some kind of ichor, um, and that, uh, and that it is being studied by some mucky mucks and some higher ups in Garrett for reasons unknown. I think they're turning prisoners into Ike or something. They have big, they get them in, into a big circle and then they turn into red rocks. <laughs> yep. Oh, spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> that was season three. <clears throat> Uh, hey, Cirilla, my yes. Uh, Chaparral now has has a tattoo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it a prison tattoo? No, it's it's this cute little fox. Oh. Because I now have I now have a a fox familiar a fading oh, fox. Cool. I named him Guy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Sounds about right. Remember, remember. <laughs> so, 
If I click, okay, there we go. So I guess the question is then, given the information that you have and the fact that you're hiding out in the warrant, uh, what? Uh, what what do you want to do, or what, what do you want to ask, or anything like that? What's I think that we asked to trade, right? Right. And now you have 50 gold, so go ahead and do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were generously rewarded for the Game Master uh, losing our, our character information. That's true. Oh. Did anybody give right. you 50 gold? Yeah, everyone. I, I added 50 gold to everyone's sheet when I was leveling, okay. putting, sitting Just it at four, level four. So, yeah. Um, everyone everyone has cash money uh, as a reward for something that they had no awareness of or control over. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Did I do that right? Um, and we suddenly woke up and we were three levels stronger. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I don't think I did that. What kind of, um, what kind of vendors are around? What kind of things do they, do they have to sell? Uh, they what actually have, work? they actually have a, a, a fair assortment. They don't have, they don't have a lot of the same thing. So like, if you find... Okay. It's it's definitely stolen. Like they they've definitely just kind of been gathering things that they can and sneak under sneak underground uh, with it, and you know I supplies that they can use to try to either enrich their lives or or survive in the war. Um, I prefer the term misappropriated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have they have a number of misappropriated goods, and because of that, it's a weird eclectic mix. And there's there's a limited amount of duplication. <clears throat> like you you you're not gonna find like five of the same sword. You know what I mean? Does it? They just didn't happen to grab. The, you know, they just grabbed whatever they got. More often than not. But there's. There is a good chance that uh, if if you want to buy it, that somebody in the Warren has it or knows where to get it. All right. Right in my way. Thank you. I gotta set up. The, I still. I didn't. I didn't set up the map or the music for the map yet. Um, on here. Oh. Uh, that's partly just because I uh, forgot, but also partly because when I was doing my prep, my game prep day, I basically entirely did the Hungry Dark. Actually, yeah, I was working on that for life. Which, mm -hmm. BT Dubs, if you're watching. Check that out. That's uh, that's gonna be our, be our extra life, twenty four hour game day event this year. It's called the Hungry Dark. It's a D and D three point five adventure, in which the donations of viewers can materially affect the game. Um, if you if you make a donation, you get to play as the gods and meddle in the affairs of the story. So. Oh. And what is that? What's the date? That is uh, the first weekend in November, which I think is the second and third. I'd have to, uh, have to look. Um, yeah, second and third. It'll be well, that you have time been... to think of oh. cruel things to do. <laughs> <laughs> do you have it in our calendar, babe? So you uh, can that weekend. 
Oh my goodness. That's the last two years. Yeah. I, I, so, so you, you were mentioning that there is an area around. I got to get in my calendar also. Actually. It is not. Uh, in my, I'm going to put it in right now. Okay. The Is there like a, not only the market, is there like temples or are there other areas of like clerics or druids or things like that around that we could take advantage of getting things blessed? So, um, okay. Uh, give me a religion check. What do you want blessed? I was more question than anything else, but you know it's worth it. I got some money to burn. I might as well burn it. I mean, I guess. Did in a good way, not in the like, yeah. Don't pay attention to me. I'm way. just doing random things. Right. <laughs> but did you... oh, that was you that rolled. Yep. Okay. I'm just trying to see how it all works. Because I put it on this little hot bar down here, and now I can just click on my spells. Yeah. Down there. Yeah, yeah the hot bar thing is a cool function of this. Of this Very system. cool. I love yeah. this thing. I feel like I'm playing in a like uh, Baldur's oh. Gate. <laughs> Plus zero. All right, let's see what I get. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. Oh, come on. Uh, so with a nine, I'm gonna get scammed, aren't I? You don't find anything that looks to be a temple of any god that you know. Is there any like a, a thieves guild around, or any uh, or, or gambling halls? Uh, there is. Um, yeah, there's some gambling. There, it is now in our calendar. Okay. I can't believe it wasn't. And that was November what? Second and third, nine AM to nine PM Eastern time. Uh each day. And uh oh, you math home. I was like, see more than just that. If you sign up for oh, extra life, you can join as a player, and if you don't, you can still contribute by way of money. Uh, if you are a player, side note, anyone who is playing in the campaign can in fact make donations to affect the game. However, the rule is that you cannot... Your character cannot be the one who benefits from it. Yep. So, oh. or the only one who benefits from it. Like, if you, if you pay the B that... If you pay the donation where you get to unlock a level up, everyone gets the level up, including you. But if you, like... If you're like, oh, I want to pay for a... a, a so, for a character to have advantage... It has to be a character other than your own. Hmm. Can you pay for a disadvantage to other characters? Yep. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> can you pay for a disadvantage to yourself? Why would you want to? I didn't say there is a logical reason. I'm just a question asker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hadn't considered that. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> let me think about whether the the fairness overrides the amusement. <laughs> I, I will, I will get back to you on that one. All right, so we got, we have some sketchy places we could visit. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff we could buy. Yes, and I'm trying to see where my weapons are. So. You said that like these swords were misappropriated. Yeah. You don't necessarily know that. Like your character doesn't necessarily know that. Um, where I mean, these I think from. my character probably would. Yeah, but he's pretty underworld stuff. Yeah, but the point. Yeah, so if if you're used to seeing like, what does a random assortment of things that people just kind of grabbed and ran with look like? That's what this looks like. Um. But if you're so, not familiar with that, it's just oh, they have a weird assortment of stuff, and I mean, it doesn't. Really it definitely doesn't look like somebody sat here and made the same sword over and over again. Like <laughs> I am. It's like going to a uh, TJ Maxx. Yeah, yeah. 
or like the really good your, your credit card isn't stolen <laughs> um so so I'm, i look for some kind of uh i guess healing potion uh because those are always handy to have around i only need a few drops where you comparison to other people so uh <laughs> you can swim in it <laughs> And we want to go have these then on a, a healing potion. <laughs> so I'm guessing that these kobolds might not ex- know exactly what they have in their possession when it came to things that they've misappropriated. Okay, that would seem logical. I would I would back that theory. So with that being said. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look to see if they have any rapiers. Mm-hmm. Do I see any rapiers? Uh, you know, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, you got like uh, rapiers, pretty common. You got like a fifty-fifty shot. Let me go ahead and high or low. Uh, go low. They do. How many are there? Uh, three. All right. I'm going to slowly look them over. And I'm going to use three door. Are any of... So I have to do this once for each item. But I want to determine if any of those three rapiers are magical. What you doing, Chaparral? I'm trying to exploit the system to get a cheap magical rapier. <laughs> oh, read aura. Okay, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, he's breaking out the dice. Hey, <laughs> so you remember? So I, I just want to note this. Um, oh. First of all, love these dice. These ones mm. with the, that that they've got. Okay. Were those last year or the year before? Uh, it was the year before. It was the year before. The year before. Yeah. Last year was the pens. pens. Yeah. yeah. So those ones. Um, but you also got me a set that had sparkly. Mm. Yeah, um, that, was where, that was where your birthday present like two years ago. Yeah. yeah. What I found out is that the sparkly bit, right? The sparkly bit is just a coating over black dice. Because oh. some of them have started to fall off. So, oh, no. But it's it's fine because, like, uh, and, and it's, it's interesting to me because, like, all right, it's starting to come off, and it's like, oh, that sucks. You know, that that's weird that it's just kind of a decal over. But what it's over is the same as the other dice that I really like. So like, <laughs> so you have two sets now. <laughs> so they're just they're just it, they're just becoming the same dice. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> I get a plus two, two circumstance bonus to identify magic mm-hmm. on the item. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait. Do I have to have the identify magic spell or ability? Oh, no. All right. <laughs> um, high or low? Let's do high this time. Okay. Okay. I did it again. Oh no, that was a a low. Yep. So that was a negative, negatory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so unless I get it. a plus two to that, so <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's right. still low. <laughs> so, uh, one of them is magical. But do you know which one? Yeah, he knows which one. Yeah, oh. I, I have to do it. I have to do um, 
detect aura three times basically it, it takes me three minutes to look them over because it, it's a cantrip but it takes one minute to cast gotcha and i have to concentrate i'm surprised you're not trying to block things like this me no the uh sellers oh i don't think that the sellers know what they have though i i'm just looking it over you know checking the balance but as i'm doing that i'm 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 using my concentration because read aura does not um is a concentration based spell so I don't have to do anything somatic or anything with it. I just have to concentrate on it. Am I, uh, so do you need a backup here or am I free to roam around our uh oh, you can Yeah, you can wander around. You can be doing if you want. You can wander around. around. It's like a flea market essentially it sounds like. Something like that. All right. Um can I tell the nature of the of the magic on that? Oh, uh, that would be an identify magic. Okay. Um, I don't know if. What is that ability? Where is that ability? It's a spell. Oh no! I don't oh. have that spell. Oh. Yeah. Does anyone have identify magic? Oh no! Here it is. Okay. It's a curse rapier. It's, it's an ability. Um. Yeah. It's not. It's not a. It's not a spell. I think. Yeah, it looks to be just uh, a thing you can do. Um. All right. Yeah. It's uh. Yeah. It looks like. So the, when you click on where it says identify magic. It just yeah. it lists as an identity an ability item rather than listing as a spell. So okay. in the description of it says once you discover that an item location or ongoing effect is magical, you can spend ten minutes to try to identify with the particulars of its magic. If your attempt is interrupted, you must start <clears throat> over. Uh, the DC is set. And... So, okay, I will. Um... Now, let's see. A rapier is usually costs around... Let's see. Where's my inventory? Around two gold. So I'll be like, my good man, how much for this for this, this sword? This rapier? Knowing that the new market price for a normal rapier is two gold. I am bowling for bargains right now. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> um. He'll uh, he'll give you a once over and tell you uh, twenty five silver. You, my friend, have a deal. Okay. Because then I can just do, <coughs> spend my next ten minutes looking it over to see, and if it has really shitty magic, then I spent twenty five silver. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, let me go into my inventory <clears throat> and uh, subtract 25 silver. Remove value, it's not specific. It's a cursed rapier, and it's now bound in his inventory forever. I like it. Castle of the Wind style. Hmm. <coughs> Cancel minus... Twenty-five silver. Remove value. Not specific type. Okay, there. All right. So I will spend the next ten minutes uh, ascertaining the the type of magic. I'll be I'll go off into a quiet corner and I'll be looking at the sword and examining examining it. Um, and. I'll put my um how do I add another item? There we go. 
No, that's not it. You hit the search function, remember? Yeah, I got to go to edit item, and then I got to go to search, right? Oh, I put it into my inventory first. Search for it. No. Huh. Yeah, how do I, um... How do I search for it? I've already forgotten how to use this. Oh, oh there it is. Never mind. Derp. So for the sake of clarity, um, it is, it's a nice looking rapier. Uh, the handle, um, like the pommel of it seems to be a very shiny, like beautiful looking stone, like kind of continues up into the wrapping. Okay. All right, so I'm looking around in, uh, with my Corgi Tango to find any uh, fey-sized things, specifically looking for a fey tattoo gun or mm. tattooing elements, tools. That's me. Uh, so, That's yeah, me a bit more, more rare, so I'm going to give you... Uh, we're going to do this in... Uh, uh, we rolled a d6, but it's going to be by three. So, uh, high, middle, or low? Middle. Damn you! They don't have one. Do they have in the... I continue my search for monk-based weapons. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I'm looking for the he healing potions now. Do they have healing potions from a... Someone that is not lying to me. <laughs> um, yeah, they have healing potions. A few different people have healing potions. You can kind of decide who you want to trust. Any name brand healing potions? Uh, well, there aren't really name brands in the setting, so no. Okay. <laughs> Any local organic... Uh... <laughs> Grass-fed <laughs> Grass Grass organic healing potions from <laughs> magicians I can pet? Uh, <laughs> so, if you ask that, someone will definitely tell you that they have... Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I'll just take any kind of po magic potion that seems a uh, reputable okay. source. I am not doing Thunderstrike. I don't know who to, oh, that was. Uh, That's me. I'm just messing with the the hot bar <laughs> I have. Like, yeah, he's, he's testing stuff out. So yeah, it doesn't seem to work with the heightened spells, which is unfortunate. What? So like oh, I have yeah. a heightened thunderstrike, yeah. So it doesn't work with that. But the regular thunderstrike, it works well. All right, so uh, talking to my buddy Fred, who's selling me some healing potions. How much are they? And do do they uh, can I just like dip something into it or do they have anything for my size? Um Yeah, they'll have stuff for your size. And, and as far as cost let me look at what it normal costs. Let's see here. Uh, looking for like a, I guess. Let me look like so I have. Uh, minor healing potion is normally four gold. So yeah, uh, basically whatever price it says here, they're gonna add one gold to it as the as their kind of opening volley. So for the healing potion, minor 
normally is normally four gold, they're gonna say five. Uh, for the healing potion last week, they're gonna say thirteen. Man, you're a tourist, man. <laughs> well, you know, so I'm sitting here looking at it. Is it do I thieve it or do, do I diplomacy it? Oh my god, if you try to thievery it, I'm not gonna be very happy here. Uh oh, are you a non thievery person? No, no I just don't I don't want to have you get caught with all of these people around. Yeah, this is a bad place to get caught. Especially since they're thieves themselves. So, or a lot of them are thieves themselves, so you know the saying, there's honor among thieves. You don't rob from thieves to thieves, unless they're well. Well... I was going to say, unless they're merchants, which they are, so... Mm. <laughs> I, I, will, uh, I, will, I will counter and say, how about we play a game? If I win, I buy it for three gold. All right, if I, if I win, I buy it for two. If you win, I buy it for four. Uh, <laughs> how is that a win? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Wow. They'll go for that. Um, real quick. Uh, chat roll. Yes. Uh, about, so about a minute into focusing on the sword, it feels heavier. Oh, goodness. <laughs> in a good way or like in a more sturdy and strong sword kind of way or... Like a Titanic, you could have fit on the door kind of way. In a, well, I'm already encumbered, so this is going to be fun. Well, that, that's because I just changed the weight of the sword. <laughs> oh, it's a bulk five, huh? Yep. Oh, I was encumbered with it just being in my inventory because I was just, I'm encumbered at five. Yeah, and you're, I think you're at four and four L, four bulk and four L before yeah. that. Yeah, and a minute into it, it suddenly became fivefold. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's a Told cursed you sword. Cursed. You did roll, I mean, you did roll, roll the wrong number on the d6 to see whether or not it was a good or bad magic. Yeah, well, I guess that's fine. <laughs> it's still magical. I mean, it my... is still magical. <laughs> it is, yep. All right. It's, um, a it's a magic rapier with the weight of a buster sword now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so you are. <laughs> so you're trying. I'm trying to play a game with them. Uh, yeah. I think I got dice, and so we'll play some kind of dice game, and I'm, I'm hoping I'm fairly good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I got like game lore is plus nine, so I should be able to at least know how to play the game. Yeah, hopefully. Hmm. Okay, so um, yeah. Uh, now, if you want to cheat, that's gonna be a different check. I am not going to cheat. Okay. I am going to intimidate him, though, or try to intimidate him or them uh, <laughs> before they do their turn. <laughs> okay. So is it their turn first or my turn to roll? Uh, they'll give you first. All right. What do I got to roll for that? The, uh... Uh, game lore is fine. Otherwise, beyond that, it's just chance. Okay, so you uh you pick a you pick a game that uh, you're gonna be pretty you know you understand how it works. Um, go ahead and roll uh three d six, and that will represent what you actually roll on the dice that you're playing with. Okay. Okay. 
Sorry, the lights are dim here on 3D6. Yep. Ah, I thought I would do it there. Oh, slash R space 3D6. Yeah, I kind of sucked. <laughs> it wasn't great. Um, Still above average, though. Right? Just above. 18. Would have been 9, so one above. Mm -hmm. Just above average. <laughs> Looks like you're paying for gold. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that's basically what they what the result of their role was. They won. All right. Minus four gold and plus one. What size potion? Uh, yeah, that would be minor. Though they really are getting a big good deal because I'm only taking drops of a full potion. Yeah. <laughs> But since I got some money to burn. But do potions work that way in Pathfinder? Uh, I don't think they do, no. <laughs> it's like you still use the potion regardless. I know. I want to go swimming in it. Uh, <laughs> I like that idea. The four gold coins are, are as big as you pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm lugging on my shoulder. So does the rapier get any heavier? No. It it jumped it jumped up to five and then it's gonna stay there. And do I have I determined what Well, that is a you needed to roll a check in there. Uh, I thought that you said that I could spend ten minutes uninterrupted. You once you discover an item you spend 10 minutes to try to identify the particulars of ma it's magic. Uh, well, I still have to roll, then. You, but you still have to roll. Okay, what do I roll? Uh, why didn't you say what you roll? Um, well, you determine you determine the DC, and that's going to... I yeah. guess it's a roll yeah, 1d20. Well, I, there's got to be something you add to it. Hold on, let me check your position. Oh, you know what? I bet it's okay now. Yeah, I would think it's... I don't actually know what the difference between arcane and occultism is. Hold on a second. Let me check this real quick. <clears throat> it's so weird. Well, if it's arcane, I don't have it because I'm a cult. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I got my plus. Uh, yeah, it is. you can roll occultism. Okay, so I just do an occultism roll then. Yep. And then plus two. Okay, where's my occultism? Hey, does that uh, equipment just show up then, or do I have to do? You can just add to your sheet. I can't seem to find the button. I can see where I can. I took out the four gold, but I can't see. Oh, no, I see. Apologies. Okay. Plus two circumstance. Right. Normal. Add. Oh, ho, ho, wow. ho. Nice. <laughs> Jeez. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, so what you're going to figure out is that um, the stone used to create the pommel is a stone of weight. Okay, but there's um, no other. Um, there's no other. Magic. That's the only magical. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will send just you a really heavy right here. Well, it's not just really heavy, so I'll, I'll just go ahead and read you the entry. Also, notice a lodestone. This small stone appears non-magical and has a lovely sheen, giving the impression that it could be a valuable or a notable item or a magic stone of some kind. When you've carried the stone on your person for one minute, its curse activates. The stone size does not change, but it suddenly increases in weight to five bulk. 
This additional weight does not cause the stone to deal more damage if thrown or used as a weapon. It reappears in your possessions within one minute if you discard it, and can't be destroyed or thrown away permanently, or even placed in a container that would reduce or negate its bulk, like a bag of holding, until it is subject to a remove curse spell or similar magic effect. Once the curse is activated for the first time, the stone fuses to you. Oh, dang. So it is bound. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would huh. like to point out that I called every. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, remove curse is a healing, is a divine, it's, it's a curse, it is a, what is it? It's a level four spell in the divine and occult spell list. So not anytime soon. Not anytime yeah. soon. <laughs> That's right. A few more levels. Yeah. I mean, so or you pay, or you pay someone to cast it, but yeah. Here, so here's the question: How was the guy able to get sell me the sword when it was in his possession for more than a minute? Um, the fact that it was in his shop doesn't mean he held it for a minute. True. Fact. But the person that he. St- that stole it, it would have been bound to. How do you know he held it for a minute? <laughs> How do you know he's still alive? That is true. <laughs> so it says I can't discard it, but can I, can I, does that mean I can't like hand it to somebody else? Uh, yeah. It's, um, you can you can try to find a way to like transfer the curse to somebody else, but it's just you're gonna be transferring the curse to them. Um, but if you fail to transfer the curse, then it will just reappear in your gear by within a minute. So what you what I tell what I do is infinite money is, hack is this infinite money <laughs> hack? That's right. <laughs> Find a find a vendor. Hey, I have this really nice sword. Do you want to buy it? Get some get some get some money. Walk away. <laughs> fail fail the roll. It shows back up in my inventory. I have the money. I, I'm and well cannot, and cannot run from. <laughs> I'm well. I'm well far away from everybody else. <laughs> When they notice it disappeared. I'm not going to stop you from trying it. (laughs) That that first time someone's like, yeah, let me just check this. He's just going to run. Anyway. Uh, So here's here's the question, though. It was the only low-level a... magical item I found that would make sense for a rapier that I could work into a rapier. It it see it feels it feels a little cruel, but no, this is fine. But here here's the question: Why didn't I notice when I was examining the sword for the minute? Was it because, because I you didn't, didn't held it? I didn't. No, I was, I said I was holding the swords and examining them as I cast. As yeah. I was casting the yeah, I said a minute into examining it, you noticed it got heavier. But you but didn't. I was, but you didn't know before. the details. You didn't know the that details of the curse. Before he bought it, that was. I'm talking about when before I bought it, because I was I was holding it for a minute when I was because it cut. It takes a minute for me to cast exam. Um, read aura. Uh, there wasn't any discussion on you holding the things that you were examining. I thought you were looking at them. No, I, I was holding them. I said I was like, you know, I was I was holding them, examining them, which is totally fine. I, I'm not I, I'm OK with not noticing that at the time. Right. OK. Yeah, it's because I thought you were just looking at them when you were examining. them. OK, no, nope, um, that's all good. Yeah, well, it was either that or tools that would, or the rapier was going to run its mouth at you all the time, and I decided whether or not I wanted to role play that. Oh, that would have been that hilarious. Was, that was the other That's option. Like, that it would be like it would be like Skippy in um in Cyberpunk. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to post the heckling tools one in in the in the private message. 
that would have been hilarious. But that was that uh-huh. was the other one I was considering. But I was like, I don't, I don't actually want to role play that all the time. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm not gonna do that one right now. But maybe someday. So G- GM laziness for the win <laughs> or the loss, depending on how you look at it. Yep. Uh-huh. You should just like pre-record some kind of sound. Oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> just just so randomly just start hitting the button. Yeah. yeah. Just bury it in the ambient noise of every scene. Oh, yeah. I, well, it would be the same thing all the time if I used my board, but yeah. Yeah. So I guess uh, I guess I'm going to. Is there a priest around? Uh, So you'd have to do a religion check. Is anybody else doing anything during all of this time? Laughing at Dave. <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah, he's dragging his rapier around. I, I talked to Tango and see if they need anything. <laughs> oh, this is going to be terrible. My uh, my religion role is awful. Hey, that wasn't actually half bad. That, that was wasn't terrible. Um, Better than mine. You you find something that kind of looks like a temple, but it definitely doesn't include any gods that you're familiar with. What the hell are my skills? Under proficiency. Um. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll slowly walk that way, dragging the sword on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get the same thing, hun. Okay. You're pretty sure that this space that you found is a temple, but it doesn't seem to represent any, any god that you're familiar Oops, with. that's not what I want. I wanted to... No, sorry, guys. I think I forgot to put my marker in again. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have... Guy carry the rapier in his mouth, or no, he yeah. can't because it's going to transfer back to me in a minute. Yeah, yep. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, you can get you can get a minute's reprieve at a time, basically. <laughs> yeah, which I'm is, just going to drag it, which is plenty long enough for a combat encounter. But <laughs> so does he like give the rapier to the fox, and then it just mm. like zooms back to his hand? <laughs> well, no, I have to summon the fox right now because I can think I can only summon him once a day, if I am correct. Do you know how happy you made that store clerk to buy that? <laughs> he, he he didn't know either. <laughs> you, you don't know that. You think he didn't know. I, yeah, I That is an assumption. <laughs> You're like, these kobolds, they're stupid. They don't know what they, they have. Uh, not I took not a... an insight check to be seen all night. Yep. Nope. Uh, I <laughs> want to peruse around and make sure there's no, uh, <laughs> no saddles or other harnesses for my corgi. Ah, uh, well, maybe, um, but... In the process of this time, you're you are going to notice uh, the Cirilla and Chaparral noticing the temple. Yeah, I, I see where they are. Okay. I'm keeping an eye on where they're walking. I hope they're doing the same to me. Yeah. I could just picture Cirilla walking behind me, snickering. Uh-huh. <laughs> what I'm you got there? You get your comeuppance. <laughs> <laughs> It's a rapier with a pretty gem look. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> I hand it over to you, but it will just return to me in a minute. <laughs> hey. You go on ahead. I'll, yeah, I'll catch there. up. <laughs> um. So once that curse unbinds, it's it can't rebind itself to me, right? What do you mean? 
Like once the, if the you, priest. If you successfully, okay. If you remove curse, then it no longer is curse. Um, if you if you manage to pass the curse on to somebody else, it is possible for them to pass it back to you. Okay. Uh, if you Man, if should... you fall for whatever it is that does that, <laughs> I should just give it to to Kutsio. Be like, hey, I I got you a, I got you a sword. <laughs> yeah, I totally. Right here. Yeah. And then I'll be like, I'm gonna charm this guy. And look, I've got a pretty sword for you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right. This remove curse is going to be expensive too. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, I want to see if uh, they have any um, robes, like any better robes than what I have. Okay. Are we going off the fifth edition spell book for this? Uh, or uh, equipment book? Um, if you if if you just go into your items and hit the little search In button on any inventory thing and un okay. un deselect everything under inventory types. Okay. And then type in robe at the top. Type in robe. So basically, the easiest stuff to deal with is going to be the stuff that's in the compendium oh. in this game. In Foundry. Yep, Might makes sense. What is this one? So would a robe be considered armor, or is a robe just... It really depends robe on... is unarmored. It really depends on the robe, but most of them are, are counted as clothing. <clears throat> hmm. I don't see. I see equipment. Is that where a robe would go? Um, it probably goes. Well, technically, yeah, it goes. It under probably goes under. Armor. Yeah, it might. It might oh. show up under armor. It might show up under equipment. I don't know. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, it shows up under armor. Okay. But it it doesn't function as armor. Okay. All right. I want to see if they have the. Uh... This do you uh, I don't even know how the heck to Weber. say Weber? Yeah, that one. <laughs> All right, higher or low? Low. <laughs> they do indeed. Yay! <laughs> All right, I, I shall I shall purchase it off them. It's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you buy here is cursed. <laughs> Everything is cursed. Everything. His awesome. healing potion is a mimic. That? No, um. <laughs> oh my god. That would be amazing. That would be hilarious. Oh my god. I would absolutely love this game. Can it, but can it be? Can it be a mimic because of the? <laughs> it. I mean, it is perfectly possible for a healing potion to be a mimic. But no, this one. No, I meant in Pathfinder, though. <laughs> oh, well, our, I don't know if mimics, mimics exist uh... in Pathfinder. Yeah, that's, that's a fair point. Oh. I think that was um, whatever the. They have to have something like that. Though. Yeah. Like that's not mm. that's not a D and D thing. Right. Can you imagine okay. though? Like you're, you've got like two hit points left. You're yeah. dying. You're like bleeding out on the floor, and you go to drink your health potion, and it's. A and then it bites you. <laughs> 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 
Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, your face. Mimics do exist Keep in Pathfinder. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to buy... So if I just click on buy item, right? That, that'll do it? Yes. All right, let's try it. <laughs> I didn't know if that was part of the the D and D OGL uh, though. Hey, it worked. Yeah, no, I think mimic is. I think mimic is definitely predates. I think the idea okay. of mimic as creature predates. But I mean, so some it's only things... my mind flares and like hero names and stuff like. Well, that. Well, even that. So um, when Wizards of the Coast was trying to clean up their mess uh, that they that they caused, yeah they 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 accidentally they did... made all of that public domain. Yeah. And rightfully so. Uh, For but them yeah. trying to screw over people. But anyways. Oh, so I this meant one is counted, so anyway. The original OGL, I guess, yeah, or yeah. whatever it's called. Um, all right. Oh, I guess this is just a robe that goes over my armor. Which is interesting. All right, I've been watching all this, and I'm heading back. I'm going to follow... Uh the bush and the monkey into the oh, no, I'm sorry the cat your chuckles are your cat right yeah what's that monkey. chaperone was a cat or a monkey I keep on forgetting Matt was the monkey Chapel yeah was the Matt was the monkey so I'll follow the, uh, I'll follow them into the temple all right cool. I'm gonna buy some minor healing potions as well all right uh, as I said before, they cost one more gold than it says. Five gold. All right, so then I will subtract two more gold. Man, so you're more. paying street prices, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's paying tourist prices. Oh. Yep. As you're walking off, you hear them go, "Give them to Gringo." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so we uh, did. I did I make it into the temple? Uh, yeah. Of course, I failed. My... Oh wait, I didn't fail my my religion roll. I just don't know what religion it is. Yeah, right. you you got high enough to recognize that this is a temple, but not high enough to recognize what it's a temple to. I'll be like, I'll ask Cirilla. Do you know what kind of temple this is? Nope. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. As you did. <laughs> Can I roll Fey lore for the temple? <laughs> if you like. Religion. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll probably never use this for anything else. <laughs> Go. <laughs> you are you you with that roll. You are absolutely certain that it has nothing to do with the Fey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How sad. Nice. <laughs> I, uh, is there any writing on the wall? Oh, that's uh, no. Is there any writing around? No. Anywhere? Is there any odd natural elements? What do you mean by odd natural elements? Not your normal, one might would almost call them supernatural, but they'd be more like uh, out of place. Like if you're in a desert, the oasis, or if you're in, you know, the ocean, an island. So something that looks out of place, but natural. Oh, uh, there is, um, there is something there that looks like that look does not look like stone, but does look hard. Um, is it more lodestone? <laughs> it does not look like the handle on the on the right here. No. Um, okay. It's also fairly large. <laughs> it's like uh, it's a it's a good like. You're like eight inches tall, kind of irregularly shaped. Uh, can I examine it and see? Uh... Yeah, I was going to say, where's my. I am not rolling well tonight. I'm going to roll in nature as well. 
What are we naturing now? Looking it's at a small eight inch. Not stone. Okay. I shall roll. There you go. Twenty four. I will oh. roll my negative one. Ooh. How are we rolling so sucky? That's <laughs> um, I have a plus seven. Yeah, in nature. A seven. And I know. Oh, a seven on the die. <laughs> Um, the DC on this actually is not like super high. Um, so three of you are going to be able to recognize that what you're what you're looking at seems to be um. Oh. Right. Just say that Chaparral doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, Chaparral doesn't. Chaparral doesn't know. Uh, the other three of you, though, are recognize that what you're looking at seems to be um, it, it's it's not it's not unlike pearl. Like this is definitely um, some sort of. It's Some, like an opalescent. Yeah, it, it's 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 um, it's some sort of kind of mucusy buildup around something, like an a, an irritant, like a like how a pearl is made. Oh. Are we in a mouth? Why are we getting into such slimy things? <laughs> it's not it's not slimy. Yeah, pearls aren't slimy. Uh, I thought you said mucusy. Sorry. Well, it's, well, that's what. The outside of a pearl, right? Is but it's cured before it hardens. Yeah. yeah. Whatever this is, it, it it's very it's it's similar in does it's similar in source to that, and it is so definitely it's very pearlescent. hardened. And it's definitely hardened. Hmm. Would they have padded armor? Uh, yeah. Okay. Are there any uh, priests or priestesses or people who look like they're supposed to be there besides us? Yeah. Um, also, uh, you'll notice that um, as you as you're now inside of it and kind of looking around, you're going to notice that a lot of like scratches on the wall and stuff like that seem very draconic in nature. Like, like they're trying to like they're trying to represent something draconic. Huh. Which, I mean, they're kobolds, so I'm not huge surprised. True. I'll just be like, hey, can anybody remove a curse? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, one of the people there will say this again. There's like three kobolds around that seem to actually hang out here. Uh, one of them can, in, in fact, do that. I will inquire what type of payment are they expecting. Well, you ought to try, uh, try making sure, like, see if they can camp put on a, a new blessing on it instead of just taking it off. Like, make it light. What was that, Chris? If you're going to pay them already, just go through and tell them to also, you know, like, make it a super light sword or, you know, give, them a, give it a blessing. Yeah. Don't just remove the curse. Uh, I don't... Get money's worth. I guess I could ask if they could change the curse to a blessing. Um, but if that's a whole different. Then, yeah, I didn't think that they'd be I mean, able to. They they probably could, <laughs> but that you're from, you're paying for two spells in that case. You're paying for the oh, removal okay. of the curse and the ap application of a new spell. Mm -hmm. Now, a fourth level spell under normal circumstances costs forty gold. Oh. 
<laughs> easy come, easy go. Well, what was that about paying fifteen silver for a break? It, it was twenty. It was it was twenty five silver. Thank you very much. <laughs> so now you're gonna pay thirty gold and twenty five silver for a rapier. Uh, it might diplomacy. It, to be fair, I didn't actually realize it was a fourth level spell when I. <laughs> but Great. what happened was, well, when I when I rolled to see, oh, is 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 each of these ha- does each of these have a spell? The first two were really low rolls on the percentage yeah. dice, and I was like, okay, you know, the last one was a ninety nine, and I was like, oh, that's that's hella magic, yeah, that's definitely got a magic on it. Mm. And and then and then we rolled to see if it was good magic or bad magic, and it was bad magic. So. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Could I? Could I tell? Since they're kobolds, could I tell them the story how we, how we uh, rescued Fazij, and would they be able to disc, possibly, give a discount for those good deeds? <laughs> um, they will. Uh, they will send for Fazij. They'll. They'll, they'll want to hear about this. Um, and you know, Fazij will come. And uh, they'll they'll ask him about it, and he'll tell the story, and and you're also, you know, welcome to tell the story uh, while you're waiting for him, um, as is your bent. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, you can tell the story while you're waiting for Fazid to show up, and then when Fazid shows up and tells the story, uh, he'll do so. And I uh, would... yeah, I will do that in a sort of a song. Yeah. <laughs> what are my skills like, you have to at least write some lyrics for us to know like how the song goes <laughs> uh oh yeah tango wasn't around for that right oh yeah so did you sing hmm I thought tango was there when we rescued physique Oh, was he? Yeah, I thought. I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. When, yeah, in front of the well, in front of the uh, guard check. Yeah, it was Matt that wasn't there. That's yeah. right. We blamed Matt. For and Jacob. Before, we did. We Matt. did blame Matt for it too. We yes, totally Matt threw did, him under the bus, fires, and he yeah. hasn't come back to game since. You say <laughs> we? Yeah, like <laughs> Chris. Chris bl- blamed him and. He he wasn't a part of that. That's why we blamed it on him because he wasn't in that session. <laughs> uh-huh. And he was already wanted. All right, so yeah, um, let's go ahead and do a performance check. For... I'll do performance on that. He was already wanted for another thing that Tango did. <laughs> That's true. It wasn't. <laughs> Man, that was. A... I feel like I'm making. Oh it my bad. god, that, that was, was a two, two on the die. Yes. <laughs> Ouch. Dang. I mean, Oof. I mean, it's still a 14. fourteen is still pretty good performance. Right, I, yeah, you know, help, there's some. Help. And then Fazij will come and and verify the story. And uh... how much did you embellish? <laughs> All of it. No, I, it was it was a fair <laughs> fair retelling of. I'm not. I'm not going to lie to 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 people in a temple. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to get. I don't want to be. I don't want to be smitten or smote. Smitten. Next thing he has smote. is like a double smote. the weight of the rapier. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, so they'll they'll <laughs> take. Uh... Let me check this. Hey, Come on, yeah. good discount. They'll, they'll take a twenty-eight. They'll take twenty-eight. <laughs> Still, <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I will. I will. Um... I will uh, accept those terms. Ooh. I can't. I can't walk around with a with a five weight rapier, All especially right. since my encumbrance is five weight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, so um, good news, bad news. Wow. The good news, obviously, the rapier goes back to normal rapier rate, and it and it has a really pretty pommel. Uh, the bad news, it has no magical qualities. Whatsoever. Okay. Twenty eight gold. I just spent 30, <laughs> 30 and a half gold 
Yep. On a regular, <laughs> on a regular rapier. Very with a, pretty regular With a really rapier. nice, yeah, it's a very pretty regular rapier, but yeah. That's... <laughs> All right. Uh, this is... He's never gonna, uh... Not. Next, next time we examine magical items oh. before we buy them. Yeah. Magical. <laughs> never gonna make assumptions about kobolds ever again. <laughs> <laughs> so magical. Stop buying swords at a flea market. Pretty... <laughs> okay, I have... Oh, I man. renamed it to Not So Magical Pretty Rapier. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So I'll be right back. that happened. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm. And I'm I'm still encumbered. By the way, are you really? I'm encumbered by one, by one. Oh by yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad that I didn't sell my other my other rapier. Yeah. Um. So I can I can now like wield like wield the item without being cursed, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's, so, a, it's a perfectly normal rapier now. Uh, were there multiple armor ven- vendor? Oh, or wait, you know what? I'm gonna. Well, to say that there's a the, a vendor the... for certain things is is a misnomer. Like, there are vendors. Yeah. Some of them have weapons, and some of them have armor, and there's some overlap between the two. Yeah, I'm gonna f- try to sell my my other my. My old rapier, I guess. All right. Um, I will thank I will thank them by the way. Um, and bid them adieu. All right, cool. And uh, I'll go and try to find a vendor to sell my other sword. All right. While you're walking rapier. around, everybody, give me an a, a reflex save. A what? A, a reflex. reflex save. Oh, that? twenty-five. Left hand side. I found twenty-eight. Oh my god! Oh, I, I suck. Wait for uh, Tango to get back and roll his. Yep. Mm. Um, all of you succeeded though. Yay! Woo! I hope that Tango rolls like a ten. <laughs> after the ordeal you've been through. after the ordeal i just went through i want someone else to experience something bad <laughs> you think you'd be more compassionate the dc is in fact 15 so like the real oh you just <laughs> passed oh, man. Um, and, and if tango rolls literally anything lower he's gonna Sweet. Well, I decided to go back to my robe, my scroll robes, because they're actually better than padded armor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so while you guys, so I, I'll explain this to Tango when he gets here. Um, what you just experienced was another earthquake. It definitely felt. Stronger. Just got back. Sorry, you said uh, there's an earthquake. Yeah, reflex, reflex save. Roll. Give us a reflex save, please. Is everyone okay? Uh, everyone else is so far. Yeah. Let's see about you. Am I okay? I don't know. You have, you to, you have to roll. You have to roll <laughs> reflex. Reflex. Guys. Reflex Which is over. Left yeah. The... Left hand side towards the bottom. Yep, yep. Yeah, you're fine. Oh. All right. So, uh, yeah. So there was a. There was a. Uh, there was another earthquake. Um, it definitely felt stronger than the ones you guys felt on the surface. Um, when that happens, all of the uh, kobolds, like, they kind of go into, like, full-on, like, prayer and hymn mode. Like, okay. that happens... They start praying. They start singing. Pray some more, and then and then after a few minutes of that, things go back to normal. Do we recognize any of what they're praying or singing? 
Uh, no, but if you, if anyone speaks Draconic, you can understand the words that they're saying, but they're not like, they're not, it's nothing that you're familiar with from any other religious ritual. Or what the languages? Uh, oh, on your front, front page, page, you, oh, you... Uh, incidentally, have two, oh. two, oh, no, oh. Uh, you're supposed to have two more languages than you do. Oh, I see. I um, just noticed that I have an unallocated. Yep. I don't remember what a murin is. No, what? That's uh, that's the language of the cat, cat people. Yeah. yeah, sorry, that's the cat folk language. So, would you say the uh, the other the kobolds <clears throat> are all start singing that? Does that include the people outside of the temple as well, or is oh, it yeah. only the people? So, all kobolds at the flea market start singing and, and praising. Yeah, and praying and stuff, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's no way to filter the languages, huh? Not that I know of. I'm guessing we can choose any of the common ones. Pretty much, yeah. I'm guessing that I can't ask if I can no shadow tongue. Uh, no. It's uncommon. Sorry, that was a no. Yeah, no. Uh, there, I know Draconic. Nice. Huh. Because I don't know what the other ones are, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's one secret. It's called Wild Song. Now, um, some of the uncommon ones you can pick up if they're like make sense for the setting. Like the Gripply. There's a whole Gripply market. Like you can pick that up. Kitsune, mm -hmm. you could pick that up. There's those are people. You know what I mean? So ones that belong to races that are definitely on this setting or heritages that are definitely in this setting you can have picked up, but I don't think Shadow Tongue is one of them. I just didn't know if it was related to like uh occult or not. I don't know. Spell casting so that's Let why me I check. was like that would be neat. Oh, look. Oh, look. Let me see. Shadow Tongue. <clears throat> Shadow Tongue is... Uh, it doesn't say. <laughs> it doesn't say anything about it. Would it be draconic? Uh... Draconic is valid. Carol. What? The the language that you were asking about, would that be the equivalent of Draconic? I was asking about a language? Well, she picked up Draconic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um it se they seem to be uh they seem to be praying to a great worm. Um, mm -hmm. that is that they're describing mm -hmm. as sleeping restlessly. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So they are they attributing the earthquakes to this great worm? Yes. Okay. Are there any small worms in the temple? Uh, I mean, just the just the kind of. Etchings. Oh, I gotcha. Are there any bugs? Because you said we're underground, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, there's bugs around. Can I go talk to a few of them and see if they can fill me in on what these uh these monsters are doing and how what they're about? Rest, you're, or Tango, you're... Yeah. Um, sure. You have, you have the ability to speak with insects, right? Yeah. I do. Insects and I have great conversations. Yep. So what's the um <laughs> says the walking rose bush. Hey. What's what's <laughs> the what's the major um non human population in Gareth? Uh so okay, so the er the Empire is um the Empire is human, dwarf, and half. Are the, are the actual citizen races of the empire? Yeah, but non-imperial 
major. Oh, let's see about that. Um, okay, hold on a second. Let me see here because I I think <laughs> Yeah. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna so reply said... to a message. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so if you go into the DM, uh, the Pathfinder's DM, there's a message mm-hmm. I just said, which is a reply to a message. If you click to see the attachment, it's the list of the... It's the re- list of the heritages that are actually on Oh, uh, okay. Dwarf, gnome, halfling, elf. Okay, because I know elven... I so guess there... dwarf. Oh, Sorry, go ahead. I was just wondering, is what is what does a crossbow use? Bolts. Yeah, I don't seem to find bolts anywhere. I think they just count count as arrows. Yeah, I think for the purpose of the I game, I think it just counts arrows. I think it just reaches. I don't see arrows either. Uh... Yeah. There. I mean, I see darts, but I don't think that's it. No, those are thrown. No, yeah. they're they're in the the equipment. Uh, in the equipment. Yeah, under inventory. Yeah. If you go under consumables, it'll oh, be a consumable. Uh, okay. Ah, there we go. Arrows. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yep. And is it just one one per? I think uh, I think a batch of the one silver piece. One is silver 10. is a batch of ten. Is ten. Ten arrows. Okay. Um, well, thank you. That probably changes once you start getting into the fancy arrows, but <clears throat> all right. I learned uh Dorvis. Nice. I think I'll just double check. Okay, so you're ask what are you asking the bugs? I'm asking the bugs if these uh priests are s- good people. If they're like sane and good. I mean, they seem fine. Okay. That's all. I say thank you. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Now, I lost where that was on my on my sheet. What? My oh, languages. Cool. Oh, front page. That's on the very beginning. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Oh, it didn't say. <clears throat> they will tell you, though, before you leave, um, that uh, they don't they don't do a whole lot. Like they they engage with the community and then they go down into the uh, they do like a daily pilgrimage uh, into the lower cave, but that's about it. Ooh, that would be a fun expedition. <laughs> Can I like ask somebody about this great worm that they're sure. singing about? Who are like, the who are you, are you asking someone in the temple or outside of the temple? Just whoever is nearby and praising, um, praying or whatever. Sure. What are you going to ask specifically? Um, why they say that the great worm is restless, and if that's a good thing. Um. They're gonna say the the great worm has been uh, moving lately in, in its sleep. Is we, that why the earth shakes? Yes. Uh, is it is it a good thing if the great worm wakes up? Um, not actually entirely sure. That's that's a, that's a question for the priest, I think. Okay. Well, I guess I'll ask a priest. Define good. Yeah. Good for who? <laughs> Not doing bad. What happens if the great worm wakes up? Yeah. Um, are you asking the priest now? or? Yes. Okay. Uh, if the priest is going to tell you, um, 
if the if the great worm wakes, um, it will. Um, it will destroy uh, the. It'll, it'll destroy basically all of the imperial action in the area. Um, Let's go wake it up. And just the empire? Well, no. Um, it's going to be tricky. Uh, the great worm is it's complicated. The great worm is the island. Oh. Wait. Oh. What? <laughs> I can kind of see that shape. So the island's not alive. Well, no, it, no. The island is the stuff that built up on the Great Worm as it's left. So, oh wait, I'm 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 not even in there, so I can't. <laughs> Where are we? I thought we were all together still. No, I went. I wandered off. I'm. I'm trying to solve my sword. Um, which you can so, succeed at, and then make your way back. How much money do I get? Uh, like fifteen silver. Is, can I? Can I negotiate? You can that? negotiate that number. Yeah. So, what's causing the great worm to stir? We don't actually know. Is there a way to find out? Um, maybe. Because uh, it kind of sounds like if it wakes up, we're all dead. It's not. How long has it? How long has it been waking up for? Oh, just uh, it's only it's only started. It's only started getting restless in the last couple weeks. In the week, last week or so. What's the chances? Saying I'll speak this to the bush next to me. <laughs> What's the chances that this is related to the goo? Uh, I'd say pretty high, but I don't know how we'd find out. <gasps> Maybe the goo, Drink the goo from the worm. Could be. Uh, can we ask the priest if they know if the worm is a natural hydraulic worm that may have... <laughs> uh, Odd hydraulic fluid flowing around through its veins. Um, I don't know. Do you want to meet the worm? I sure. Would like to meet the worm. Okay. Great. We can do that. Um, let's meet the worm. I want to go and meet the worm, but I also want to do my diplomacy role. Yeah, hey. finish your diplomacy. Finish selling. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Um. You you can talk them. You can talk them up to about two gold. Well, nice. I will do that. That's the price of new. All right. Cool. So it was only twenty nine and a half silver now. <laughs> twenty nine and, 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 and a half gold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. So. Uh, I still feel like I got a deal. So if you if when you return to the group, I mean it was also twenty nine and a half like free gold. Uh, but when That's you true. when you get back to the group, uh, they're gonna be getting ready to head out with the one of these priests who is bringing like some incense and stuff. It's time for the they gotta do the daily pro pilgrimage anyway. Nice. So. Would I have known any of this stuff with my with Gareth lore? Uh, nope. Oh, okay. No one in Gareth. You've never heard of anything like about this. All right. Nice. So, uh, you guys can explain to Chaparral if you like on your way down what you're doing. We're going to meet the worm. Yay! Worm. <laughs> This is definitely uh, W Y R M. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so you guys are gonna you're gonna travel down. You're gonna actually travel like another hundred feet underground. Um, okay. Through various tunnels, 
And what you're going to come to is a very large chamber. Um, so, okay. So it's definitely stone chamber that then gives way to, like, um, was well, definitely, like, wall of flesh with, like, a 30-foot tall opening, and there's air moving in and out of the opening. Can you describe that again? So we've gone down a tunnel. Let me rephrase it and make sure I understood it right. We walked down into the earth about 100 feet. And now we're looking at a wall of flesh with a hole in it that has air coming out of it. Yep. Okay. You're about 100 so feet going... deeper than you were. You traveled more than 100 feet to get there. But you're definitely right. 100 feet further underground than you were. So is it a nostril? It? Uh, yeah, definitely looks like a nostril. Okay, cool. Does anyone have a giant feather? <laughs> we don't want to wake up the worm. <laughs> so there, Are you I sure about that? The it. worm right. is the right. island. <laughs> we can charm him. It's uh, it's uh, like I'm pretty sure that like Dovki would want to completely disrupt the empire. So. <laughs> And, and also die in the process. On the <laughs> and die in the process. That is true. <laughs> and die trying. Uh, okay. So, but that isn't and, here. I mean, also we have Katsuyo here, who is also a troublemaker. I don't so, know. What you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Can worms laugh? Uh. Well. I mean, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, you can ask. Sure nostril. is. Let's do it. You also, I, I can't. Do it. I can't target the worm though, because the worm isn't on screen. Can I try talking to the worm? It's well, it's asleep. I could try to sing it. Sing okay. a, a very funny song for you. It's asleep. It's asleep. I mean, you know, like it's just breathing. I mean, depending on my, depending on my performance. Would you? If it's, if it's pretty bad, it could wake it up. Would you like to do any sort of investigation before you start aggravating the sleeping monster? Nope, not at all. Oh my god, you guys! <laughs> now the cobalt who brought you down here is doing kind of its own ritual and everything kind of yep. nearby. So yeah, what what uh -huh. is what kind of what kind of ritual is it doing? What, uh, it definitely involves like. Sweet smelling incense and stuff like that, and some more prayers. And where is investigation? Can I do uh, it's hold on. initiative I perception? Ah. Yeah. Can I recognize the spell? I mean, it's a ritual, so I guess that wouldn't work, right? It's not. It's not a no spell. It's it's a ritual. Okay. That's what it is. Yeah, it would be a rig religion. Okay. Yeah. Check, I would guess. So, um. Yeah, I'm gonna do perception check. Why not? So while he's doing that, can you give me the the token for the worm, so I can see if he makes a save? Uh, Damn. sure. It's the map. So, well, yeah, okay, but that doesn't count as a token. <laughs> he has to select it to roll. I I don't know how. Yeah, I can't I can't select anything until I. Yeah, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm not going to be able to put a token on the table. Uh, yeah, it's just a little dot that says worm, and then I can just click on it and, and roll against it. Okay. That is, an, a, that is an abundantly bad idea. Yeah, Agreed. probably. You're trying to um, tickle the worm still? Nope, I'm going to make him laugh. Leave right. it alone. So, first, okay, um... Hmm. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> so dead. Like if you wake up the worm, game mm -hmm. ends here. Like that's just it. That's the end of the story. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim would be like, "That was a scenario I wasn't planning for." <laughs> you could end up just riding the worm through the mm -hmm. ocean. He yes. could find well, it funny, and he died. could be like, "Hey, that was we, really we fun. could we could we could name him." Uh, George. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 
Um, it turns out it all uh, turns out to be a bad dream uh, from the incense. <laughs> uh, okay, so all right, so you definitely you are able to find. Um, <clears throat> the water bottle was squeaking at us. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I was wondering what that was. Thank I was you. like, yeah. what is that? I'm like, I was about to yell at Tango for like, I was like, what's going on with, no, your, with that, your audio now? That was Daryl's water bottle. <laughs> um. So, uh, okay. Um. <laughs> it is. Uh, Oh wait, let me check the chat. Let me check this real quick. Uh, all right, yeah. Um, so two things are gonna happen real quick. Uh, one, um, it uh, Katsuyo tries to cast a spell, mm. and nothing happens. Oh, how sad. Um. Yeah, disappointed face. Yeah. Um, you can do an arcane, or I guess depending on how you cast magic. Uh, well, that was a primal spell. Does that matter? Uh. Uh, the rest of you are going to notice, like, obviously, the nostril is large enough that you can safely, like, look inside. Um, you can go ahead and give me nature check when you, if you do so. Uh. Uh, Do we notice that that Katsuyo is trying to catch the spell? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, he did nothing okay. to hide it. Um, yeah, you can do no, it. Yeah. Nothing happens. That would be an arcana check. Ar arcana, yeah. Arcana. Nope. I don't. I have no idea why it failed. Ooh. All right. I think I got a twelve. Um. Well, you got a high enough Katsuyo to realize that you were trying to cast at something that's immune to the type of magic you were casting. Oh. Okay. I've got to cast a different type of magic. And there. then I need to roll a nature check yeah. about the nostril. Yeah. Oh, nope. okay. But I guess I'll roll that. <laughs> nature! Because I'm so good at that. <laughs> oh, right. Nope. Okay. That's I actually... Get a 15 on nature up above before okay. the Arcana ones. Okay, so the two of you will notice that... Um... You are able to actually kind of identify like some vein like structures, and it does look like what's flowing through it resembles what you have for the Iker. So oh, the Empire oh. is harvesting Iker from the Great Worm, and that's what's waking it up. It would seem that way. That is that is not a unreasonable way to piece that these things together. Hmm. So do you guys tell the pe people that don't notice first off? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I tell. Uh, yeah. And now Chris has the sample, or Zeph has the sample. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Do we tell the priest about the sample? I would want to tell the priest about the sample. Eh. I don't care. Katsuya is like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I thrive off of chaos. I do. Viva la revolution! <laughs> we want the priest to know. Okay, we... I mean... Yeah, because then the kobolds will revolt. Because they're harming the great worm. Who they obviously worship. So let's let's tell let's tell them about the warehouse and the barrels of the stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and be like, this looks kind of like what's flowing through that, right? Um, and they're getting it from the prison camp or in the, in the area of the prison camp, we believe. So do we know what this stuff, like out of character um, for the sessions, I haven't been here. Do we know what this stuff does if we, if we ingest the Icor? No one has tried that. Oh, really? Uh, Tango was going to try it. I try rubbed it we... some on my body. That's true. He did yeah. rub some on his yeah. body. And? 
Uh, We're not going to say where. Yeah, he was slippery. <laughs> he, he was what? It, it was kind of it was kind of slippery, sticky. You know, greasy. Yeah. Oh, okay. But nobody has ingested it. That's true. Uh, no, we did try to start it in fire, though. I believe. That's true. I, they did try to light I, I think it was flammable. Yes. So we did not. We can make bombs. We did not continue to ingest it when it caught on fire. Does anybody have any vials? No. Aw. <laughs> wanted to collect more Icor. Uh, I'm can. pretty sure to break into the I, Yeah, there's I, lots I, of I, it laying around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that like if you were to like pull out a knife, the the priest would attack you. Yeah. That's a good chance. Yeah. Right? That's not oh, maybe the worm. That's right. So, so if I web up his nostril, does that mean he can't breathe? I mean, animals have multiple to? nostrils. That's true, and a mouth. Hmm. Also, this well, is an yeah, enormous we... nostril. Like I said, it's like thirty feet tall. Uh, and I'm back. pretty sure if you try to block it up, <laughs> the priest is going to attack you. Yeah. <laughs> there are numerous getting the point where this is my problem. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there. <laughs> Like, the the list of reasons that this is going to be difficult are increasing. Man, <laughs> and we thought that we thought that Tango was Zeph was the crazy one until you showed up. Right? <laughs> I, I well, it, it is in my name. <laughs> to be, uh, mischievous. Mm-hmm. Can I sprinkle magical dust inside of his nose? Oh my god. <laughs> and um, like that poof so they were dead <laughs> so okay i i would remind you that yes. your character has some amount of survival instinct <laughs> and you are you have reason of reason to believe that waking this thing will cause your immediate death ah uh, okay well that's no fun he failed his his self preservation yeah. role. Yeah, there there is a certain amount of self preservation <laughs> at play here, and a certain amount of guaranteed death about three feet in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all it looks to me is like a giant hole. It's fine, right? But you have been told <laughs> by this point that that right there is the great worm. <laughs> that it is literally the island. And that if it wakes up, it will start just eating everything. Yep. <sighs> and with that, folks, it is almost. <laughs> and you are about, and you are definitely within melee range of its mouth. Yes. Sweet. You don't know where that mouth is. Mouth. It's somewhere below you, but it's got to be close. Tune in next next week, folks, to see if Katsuyo kills us. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cast ghost consider. sound on the nostril to make it make it have a uh, ghost sounds. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Even better, a whistle. That, that that's perfect. Well, what if we all <laughs> sang our song together? It's what if, now. if all of us sang a lullaby? <laughs> I almost, door. I almost oh. picked up that the ventriloquism skill. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I have ghost sound. It's close enough. I, I do have a. I think it is a wind flute or hand hand flute. Oh, yeah. Mm. Or maybe it's bongo. Just sound. hold it up and see if you can bongos. have it, have the worm play, Pretty similar. play a song. Wind flute and bongos. Yeah, they're the same. They get right? the same job done. Music <laughs> yeah. comes out of them. <laughs> it makes noise. In a planned fashion. Uh, so yeah, um, mm. that we'll end there for tonight. Uh, while we're still all alive, uh, don't forget to check out our <laughs> team page uh, right there. There's a link in chat. There is a link. Uh, it's spelled out over there where the chat appears in the in the video. Um, if you are on YouTube or Twitch. There should also be a link under the video in the about that goes to the team page. The Twitch one, for some reason, hadn't updated, so I fixed it today. Um, I believe YouTube has, so I'll check that. Well, the YouTube one is in the description. 
and I post that every time that each it's it'll be accurate. Um <laughs> but uh check out the Hungry Dark once again that is uh, going to be our 24 hour game day event uh in which the characters are dealing with it's a 3 5 adventure in which the characters are dealing with an existential threat to their reality and uh they all have some connection to the divine and you the viewer get to throw money at playing as the divine the the donations you give allow you to directly meddle in the affairs of the game so uh check that out tomorrow night will be star trek and next week we will find out if uh if everyone survives katsuyo's intrusive thoughts um, <laughs> So thank you very much, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.